I'm scared. I'm so scared. What if I don't like it? What if it takes me a month to read it? Oh my God. Oh my God. What if the audio comes in and I read it too fast and I don't and take the story the way it should be taken in and it's so beautiful and that's what everybody says. What if I don't like it? Oh God. Help me. Hey guys, Katie here. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. And the first thing I'm going to tell you is why I'm dressed up so nice today. Why am I wearing a dress? It's because it's an occasion. You know what? I dare say it's a holiday. I'm deeming this a holiday as the president of the people that love Victoria Schwab. Today is a holiday. This book is a holiday. Okay. And um, for the ribbon cutting ceremony, we need to be looking fancy fresh. So I got Fancy Fresh because a lot of you requested that I read this on my Instagram, which I mean, go and follow me on Instagram if you want me to read a specific book or do a reading vlog on it because clearly I take requests, you know, we're open for business. But this book took freaking forever to come in the mail. I don't know what book of the month is doing, but like my November box still hasn't gotten me yet. <laughs> and it's like November 10th. Like I just am confused. But anyway, I'm going to be reading this and I'm going to be taking you on that journey. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm going to begin The Secret Life of Addie LaRue on a walk. I bet you couldn't guess it. See how that goes. But I'm also going to be taking The Devil in the White City because I'm going to drop this at a free library because if you didn't um, know in my last vlog, I dropped it in a toilet. So this is just going to be given away for free to somebody who doesn't know it's past. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was clean, you know, but it's still a toilet. So just going to let that one leave my apartment. But I'm going to walk to a new free library that's like almost two miles away. So it is going to be a really long walk if I end up going all the way there. I've never been there before. So you'll see. So beautiful. I didn't bring my highlighter with me and that was a mistake. I, you're not gonna be able to see this book through the highlightings cause God damn Victoria Schwab is good. <laughs> I was walking for an hour and a half and I only got 40 pages in. Listen, hear me out. Stay with me. I read slow, okay? Like, I get that I read a lot of books, but it's because I'm always reading. Like, all the time. But I read really slowly. You'd think that after reading 122 books in 2020, I'd be faster. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. Uh, so this is going to take a minute. I'm, I'm, you know, barely broken the surface. I don't even know what's happening. Like, technically, there hasn't been, like, the point where she makes this deal with this devil or whatever. When I'm 100 pages in, I'll hit you up with a, like, summary of what this book is about. It's November 3rd. It is the last day that you can vote. And I was supposed to, like, I sent in a mail-in ballot, but every time, like, I've been checking, it says it hasn't, they haven't gotten it, they haven't gotten it. And then when I checked it, it said that there was, like, an error or something. I don't know, but it didn't, 
I mean, I'm an idiot. I probably did fill it out wrong or something, but I'm going to walk to our local voting center and ask them if they can just like wave the absentee ballot and see if I can vote in person. I don't know what they're gonna say, but we're gonna cross our fingers and I'm gonna take the secret life of Addie LaRue with me because I need, I mean, I'm, you know, it isn't sad yet, so. But I need a distraction because I'm sure I'll be there for a very long time. A mile and a half into this walk, I'm realizing I forgot my ID at home, so. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, I have my ID, but I think I'm gonna end up driving there instead because like, I'm sure as well as everybody in the world right now, not just America, I have just a bunch of anxiety and it's all pent up. And I thought that maybe like walking there and like being out in the sun and just duh, like would be good. But now I'm worried that like, if I get there and they tell me that like I can vote there, that, that my mail-in ballot like I can wave it and I can vote in person and then I'm there for like two hours. I don't know if I'm going to want to make like the um, over a mile and a half walk back after that. So I'm just going to drive there and we'll see how that goes. I'm disappointed, confused, scared. There's like not really any cars here. And this is 2 p.m. on November 3rd. Where's everybody at though? There was nobody there. There was nobody there. It was me and one other lady were voting, but they gave me snacks. What the heck? And that was so nice. Yeah. What the fuck is gonna happen? Genuinely afraid. Not gonna lie to you guys. <sighs> also, I forgot to tell you that I'm listening to The Damned by Renee Adier. Um, I think in the last video, I finished The Beautiful. And now that I'm listening to The Damned, I'm like, I think I'm going to go back and change my review for The Beautiful to three stars because The Damned is like so much better, but it's not a five star book. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a four. And I think then The Beautiful is going to be a three to a 3.5. But I'm having such an amazing time reading it. It is so good. Like... I have just thrown back to my True Blood one uh, season one through three vibes. It's like just a whole ass vibe and I love it. Um, tried to take a bath. Uh, just like was so restless. Couldn't do it. Got out. Um, have had cocktails. You know, it's election day. I'm freaking out. Oh my God. I forgot to tell you. I put uh, my sticker on my book. Let's hope I don't regret that. Um, I finished The Damned by Renee Audier. Listen, I'm not going to tell you it's a great book, but boy howdy, is it a great time. It's such a great time. Why do people say that The Beautiful is better than The Damned? The Damned is superior. It is superior. Like, what are y'all talking about? Like, people are like, oh, well, you're not following, like, Celine's POV. Like, bring Celine back. She's such a great heroine. I'm like, I mean, okay, here's the thing. Celine is great. Celine is great. She, you know, for, um, I was about to say for a Mary Sue. That's so messed up for me to say that. I'm sorry. For a, like, mortal, we think, not so sure now, but um, for a mortal, in amongst all these supernatural characters, she is dope. Like, comparatively. Like, look at you, Sookie Stackhouse. You know what I'm saying? But um, Celine is great. But have you met Odette? Hello. Um, Bastion, even. Like, all of them are so cool. And, like, there's werewolves in this story. And there's, like, fae. And I was just like, yes, bitch. Give me other POVs. Like, let's move on. Like, not move on. Like, keep Celine in the mix. But I want to see, like, other stuff. And I personally just didn't really care about Celine and Bastion. Because it takes a lot for me to care about a relationship in a story. A lot, you know? Like, I have to, like, really, really be interested in them to care. And it's not that I thought that their relationship was stupid. Like, it's that's not it. It's just I don't care enough to, like, read a whole book about it. And I think The Beautiful is more, a little bit more centered on that. But in The Damned, you're following, like, um, Celine finding out, like, who her mom is. 
and finding out maybe she's not what she thought and maybe she's more than anybody thought she was. And you're also following like Bastion and his relationship to all these vampires and like how um, him entering the supernatural world is like changing him and changing everybody around him and the relationships. Like, I just thought that all the vampiric relationships were just so absolutely entertaining and I just thought they were so cool. And again, I said this in the last vlog, but if you love True Blood, then you will love these books. Like, you will. And I am trash. Like, I am True Blood trash. I freaking love it. Okay, I'm gonna shut up because... I don't know why. I'm just gonna stop talking about it. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you what this book is about now because I'm far enough in that I get the gist. So this is about Abby LaRue and she's growing up in the 1700s in France and she, um, her whole life has been trying to like draw and explore, climb trees, do things that girls are not supposed to do. And she's always told like, no, 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 you're supposed to be proper and all this stuff. And she is about to get married off. I don't remember how old she was supposed to be, like 22 or something like that. I don't know. But she's supposed to be getting married off and she does not want that life. She would rather do anything. She'd rather give anything up. And she prays to the gods to save her from this life. And the god that answers is not the god she wanted. And the whole thing about the book is never pray to the gods that answer after dark. Um, but she basically is like, he's the only one that answered me. So she makes a deal with the devil saying like, I want more time. I don't want to be confined by this life. And he goes, okay, cool. Got you, bet. And grants her this. But what she doesn't realize, of course, all deals with the devil have ties and tethers. So what ends up happening is yes, she lives forever, but everyone will forget her. So basically, if somebody walks into another room and comes back, they won't remember meeting her. And her parents don't remember her. Nobody remembers her. So there's that. But then there's another element of the story where the devil is like, okay, well, when you get done doing this whole thing where you want to go explore, um, when you want to give me your soul, I'll take it. Like, I want it. And she would have just given up because she doesn't want to live like this. But because the devil is like, I want your soul. She's like, you can't have it. Ew. So they have this battle going on. And it's amazing. I freaking love it. So she doesn't want to give it up. So she's basically stubbornly staying alive just to fuck with him. And it's so good. And then she meets this guy named Henry in a bookshop. And she goes back to the bookshop the next day and he remembers her. And she's like shook. I was shook. I am shook. <laughs> but he remembers her. And I'm just now at that part where they see each other um, again. So we're going to see how that goes. And I don't know why he remembers her. We have no idea. Um, I'm kind of assuming it's a ploy with this devil. We have no idea. But that's the whole... I'm assuming that's going to be the whole rest of it is going to be some sort of emotional roller coaster of what it means to be remembered by one person, if it's going to last, and this whole bit. Anyway, that's what this is about. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Let's get back to reading. Let's talk about how much of an idiot I am real quick. I drove all the way to work. Okay. Like, spent all this time thinking I'd go to work, went there. I'm not even scheduled. I wasn't even scheduled today. What? Today's my day off? Then why did I spend half the day mentally in that headspace of thinking I had to go to work and being like, Bleh. when I could have been like out in the freaking sunshine? I'm mad. I'm mad. Do I look rough? Well, I should because I was up till 5 a.m. last night reading this book. <laughs> okay. So Gabby was like, I finished it. I'm like, bitch, you read it in like three days. I think she read it three days or maybe two days. I think it was three days. And I was like, are you a wizard? Like, good God. And she's like, trust me, like, you're just going to fall into it. She was like, she was like, once you get to part four, you're just not going to be able to stop. And she was so right. She's so right. Like I read part three and four and then went into part five last night and was like, I can't, I can't stay up any later. I was so tired. And today I'm like really into part five. I'm on, um, 354. And I totally forgot to vlog any of it, but let me tell you, I'm trash. I'm trash. Did she, did she, did she sleep with him? No spoilers, but did she, did she, did she kill him? I think I'm about to find out and I am trash. 
gosh, I love it. I feel like everybody else was like, that's not what the story's about. And I'm like, okay, but the fan fiction I'm writing is steamy. Okay. Um, I have to go to work soon, but I think I will finish. Uh, I want to finish this part. And if I finish it, I'll let you know my thoughts. If uh, you've read this book, let me tell you how much trash I am. Oh my God, this chapter is everything. This chapter is everything. Oh my God, I love this book so much. I got sent home from work um, because I have a temperature, I have a fever. Uh, I did not think I did. So, but they checked it like seven times and it was like a hundred and something or hundred, like a hundred point seven. But I work in a restaurant, so they sent me home, obviously. Good, they should. Um, and I need to get tested, but I didn't have my insurance on me, like my insurance card. So when I tried to get tested today or make an appointment today, I couldn't. And then there is no places that are doing, that have any appointments tomorrow for rapid testing, which is what I want. Um, but I don't know. So I made an appointment for 1 p.m. tomorrow for lab testing, which takes like two to six days to come in. And I'm like... I don't want to wait that long. And also my job is going to be like freaking out because one of our other employees um, sliced their hand open at work and had to get stitches. So he isn't working and then I won't be working. And we're like one of, um, we're like the only uh, two people that can work brunch on Sunday morning. So I don't know what they're going to do about that. But, um, you know, we're just going to sit here and pray that I don't have the Rona. And if I do, that it isn't, a super big deal because I have diabetes, so... Well, I'm clearly staying in tonight. Um, I ordered from Jinya, which is like this really popular ramen restaurant in Atlanta. And I'm going to get back to reading The Secret Life of Addie LaRue. I'm on page 372 and... <laughs> Guys, I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And there's something. It's, um... It's getting hot. It's getting steamy. Um, there is something that is happening in this book that I was specifically told by several people was not gonna happen in this book. So I'm confused. I mean, you know, we definitely have like over, we have like over 100 pages left, I think, or, or 100 pages left. So, you know, shit could take a turn. This could all be a dream or something. I don't know. But um, I don't want that to be true. I know I'm being vague. There'll be a spoilery section in the end that'll uh, sum up what I'm talking about right now. But I'm digging what I'm reading. <laughs> Somebody come get her. She's dancing like a stripper. Somebody needs to come get me. Because... <laughs> fiction where this moment went differently. This is my fourth tabs pack because I keep running out of the green tabs because I am human garbage. Did she wait 214 years just to say that? She sure did. That's my bitch right there. That is my girl, Addie. Oh my God, Victoria Schwab is a genius. That is so wild that they do that. Like, take a picture of that. <laughs> okay. A little pork dumplings. Already had one because your girl is hungry. A little salad. Our broth. And the accoutrements. I am going to heat this up because it got a little chilled on the way here and put it in a different bowl because something is clearly happening. <laughs> All right, looks so good. Katie, you can do it. Oh my God. <laughs> there was, there had to have been a better way to do that. The taste test, let's see.
oh my god you know not even close to as spicy as i thought it was gonna be but it does have heat on the end i mean they said it's spicy and i feel like they usually are pretty accurate but yeah this is not this is not too spicy it's like mild is what i would say but it's delicious i just heard my roommate um pop a bottle of champagne and it's 11 30 in the morning and that could only mean one thing if i open my door and there's champagne <sighs> biden won thank god <laughs> Oh, it tastes good. Ah, oh, it tastes good. Oh my God, are we getting drunk in the morning? Let's do it. Let's get it. My roommate and I are having social distancing dance party for Biden. In less amazing news, I am in line to get a drive through COVID test. They don't have any rapid testing, so this one's going to take like two days. Hopefully only two days. We'll see, but I guess I'll let you know afterward what it was like. Yo, that shit is... <laughs> You know, it's not that bad. It's really not that bad. I did it myself. It wasn't like they shoved a freaking cotton swab up my nose. But, oh, you know, that really activates the tear ducts, my guy. They said it'll be done in like two to three days, which is so frustrating. Like, we don't have patience, okay? This Aries moon cannot handle that. I need to know now. <sighs> I've officially run out of green tabs, so... Oh my god, I've literally gone through four of these. <laughs> I swear to god. It's like I feel like I know what's gonna happen. And I don't want it to happen. I don't want it to happen. Okay. Okay. Okay, Victoria Schwab. Okay. I didn't see that coming. Twist. I already know there's gonna be another twist. She's playing him. She is playing him. What is gonna happen? Oh my god, okay. Oh my god. I finished it. I finished it. Five out of five stars. Favorite of all time. Oh my god. How did this and the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo come out in the same year? It's not right to do that, okay? Because you're setting the expectation up for every other year of my life to be this amazing. And it's just, it's incapable. It can't happen. It can't happen. First, I'm going to start off with a spoiler-free part of the video, and then I know I've never done this before, but I'm going to have a spoiler-filled section in the end because I have a lot of opinions, and apparently opinions nobody else feels because I've seen a bunch of videos and nobody else has felt the same way as me. So if you've read the book, stay tuned for that. And if you haven't, here is my spoiler-free review. Stunning. Phenomenal. This, the writing, 
is lyrical, it's poetic, it's beautiful, historical. The settings were amazing. The characters were amazing. Everything was so good. The emotion was amazing. Oh my god, like the like the fantasy was so good. It was just, oh my god, I can't even. It's all chef's kiss. V.E. Schwab really went there. She did that. One thing I'll say is that if you love uh, Delilah Bard from Darker Shades of Magic, you're gonna love Addie LaRue. They're not the same, but they have a very similar vibe. Like they kind of have that Arya Stark vibe. And I was obsessed with her. A lot of people said that the pacing was really slow and that it's a slow burn. Here's the thing. It is a slow burn, but it is not slow paced. Not at all. It's a 300 year story. Okay. And it's 450 pages, but it's 300 years. Yeah. Okay. So it takes a second, but um, it's not boring because this is 300 years of her life. Like that's a long story to tell. And Victoria Schwab surmised it fantastically, in my opinion. As opposed to other people, I did not really cry reading this book. Like there was uh, four blue tabs, so four sad things. And only one of them was I like actually like really tearing up. I did tear up near the end, but I just really did not connect with Henry as a character. I mean, he's nice. He's fine. Um, a so unpopular opinion, but I just really didn't care for him all that much. Like he was okay, but he was kind of boring or like it was, he was just too normal. And I was like, I mean, cool, but you're not grabbing my interest. You know what I'm saying? This book is feminist AF. Like, I love, love Addie LaRue's, like, her whole mentality of being a woman. Like, there's a part, part where she's, like, cross-dressing and is like, wow, life would be so much easier if I was a man. I should have asked for that instead of eternal life. And I was like, yeah, that's amazing. And then also the way that she views, like, children. It's not like she, like, hates children, but she looks at women that have had kids and she's like, I'm watching the life, like, drain out of them but they're happy. Oh, but I don't know if I want that. Like, I don't want that kind of happiness. And that was amazing. And then also the way that she's like, I don't want to be owned by a man. Like, no, don't control me. Like, I could fall in love with somebody, but don't control my life. And I really, really love that. Ooh, another thing besides like feminism that was so, so good is that religion. Like the way that they talk about religion, Addie doesn't really like believe in God with a capital G, but she does believe in gods like people that have magic and stuff. She basically looks at it more of like a folklore or something like that instead of faith. Like she doesn't go to church, she doesn't pray, but she does the whole like throwing a trinket in the well and praying that something's gonna happen. Not like praying to an entity, if that makes sense. Am I making that make sense? I don't know. Victoria Schwab, clearly she did it, but I don't know how to tell you about it. A little disappointingly, I did not care that much about Addie and Henry's relationship, but I should not be surprised because I am not a romance reader and I really don't like traditional romance, like sweet, cozy romance. It's just not for me. And that is more of the vibe of Addie and Henry. Um, the only traditional romance or like more classic boy, girl, normal romance that I've ever liked is Get a Life, Chloe Brown. That's it. Like, if it's not enemies to lovers, I don't care. But that is, like, the cozy vibe of Eddie and Henry, and I just, like, didn't really care about it. But in my opinion, that part of the story actually is kind of a back burner. I don't think that's a spoiler, but, like, I thought this whole book was going to be about Addie and Henry's relationship. And it, I mean, it is, but it's not. Like, she has other stuff going on in her life besides just him. And that, all that stuff I was obsessed with. Anyway, five out of five, favorite of all time. Please read it. It's so good. It's not overhyped. In fact, it's underhyped, okay? It's really good. And this is not a book that I normally would be into. And I'm saying it's five out of five. So pick it up, sis. The biggest spoiler. Check out these tabs. Okay, I want you to just take a freaking look at these tabs. Do you notice an overwhelming color? You should. It's green. Let me show you what they stand. Well, I ran out of green tabs, so it's not on there. But it's for Luke. Okay, um, I am human garbage. Apparently, I am um freaking trash. I cannot be the only roaring dumpster fire 
on YouTube. I just can't. I can't. I can't be the only one on booktube either. I just, it's not possible. It's not possible. Somebody has to feel this way. I'm obsessed with him. I'm obsessed with Luke. Um, loved him a lot. Too much, in fact. I think I put like 70 green tabs in that book. Um, I went through four packs of green tabs. I ordered more and they came in pastel. And I was like, no sis. Anyway, that's why we're wearing this green dress because of his beautiful green eyes I'm okay seriously tell me tell me this is what I need to know am I crazy I was specifically told specifically told by several people that this book was not about a girl falling in love with the devil I was lied to I was bamboozled I was bamboozled yeah yes she falls in love with Henry it's kind of a back burner story to be honest it's just a chapter of her life and it's a great chapter you know? Um, but Luke, I'm obsessed with their relationship. So I'm literally like, this is my new OTP. It, this is, this is my new OTP. I want fan fiction about them so freaking bad. Please, if you write fan fiction or fan art, please, please send it to me. I want it so bad. Hey, listen, I'm not saying it's not toxic. Okay. But, um, did I mention that I'm a human garbage? Because, <laughs> wowie zowie and here's the thing Addie is not a precious cupcake okay let's not act like she is not morally gray af all right because when people are like oh well like she loves henry and then like the devil it's like he's the devil i'm like no okay because she mentions with henry like laying with him she's like i could consider this love or i guess this could be love or like i could call this love and then when she's with luke she's like i she's like is this love and she is definitely one of those characters that's like i don't even really know what love is and i don't really feel like the traditional love that other people feel and i think that what she really cared about more than that was respect and intelligence and excitement and intrigue and that was all with luke and then with henry it was like a cozy warm feeling like heartwarming especially because it was like sad because it was going to end and that is all beautiful and that's all great but I don't think that that would have sustained itself I don't think that she could have lived with that for very long and Luke says that Luke is like this is going to be over like humans don't last and she's like I'm a human and he's like no you're not and I found that part of the story so freaking interesting when he's like you're no longer human, like you're immortal, you're like me. And she keeps saying that she's not like him. But as you're reading it, you're coming to realize that she is, or, or at least in the end, because I think with Henry, it, it's almost like the reader is being told like, no, 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 she is human. Like, look at her interacting with Henry. And I'm like, no, this is her trying to tell herself that she's human when she hasn't been for a long time. And oh my God, I'm freaking obsessed. He... You cannot sit here and tell me that he's not sexy. Is this all I'm going to talk about in the spoiler section? Yeah, probably, because I've been talking forever. I just freaking loved it. And I don't understand why people are acting like she wasn't in love with him. She is in love with him. And it's not, it's just that she doesn't think about love the same way other people do. And a lot of people did not like the ending. And I will say that it was like, you know, we already knew it was going to happen. Like, I do think that last chapter, like, Victoria Schwab didn't necessarily need to write it. We already knew. But people were also looking at it thinking, like, oh, yeah, she's, like, I'm going to, like, fuck over the devil. Like, he's not going to get me. And I was like, no, she wasn't. She's looking at him like, oh, our game's going to keep going. You didn't win. You didn't win, pal. We have chapters and chapters and chapters left to go. Their story doesn't end. Henry and her story does end. And she's like, okay, go back to the devil you know. And it's the devil! Like... I loved it. I loved it. Um, I don't think that there should be another book because I think this should be a standalone, but I think there should be a lot of fan fiction and I want to read all of it. And I've been checking and there's only two stories on AO3, our archive of our own, and they're both about Henry. And your girl could not care less. I'm just going to be honest with you. Oh, wait. Dine with me, Luke says as winter gives way to spring. Dance with me, he says as a new year begins. Be with me, he says at last as one decade slips into the next. All she knows is that she is tired and he is the place she wants to rest and that somehow she is happy. Oh, you guys are gonna have to really try to convince me that this isn't my new OTP because I'm fucking obsessed with him. Okay, I need to stop. 
Little update, um, I did not get my COVID test results back yet and I don't know when they will be in. So I'm not gonna be having that in this video, obviously, but I will be posting about it on my Insta story. So if you wanna follow me, my link will be down below. Um, if you wanna find out how that goes. And also I am gonna be posting on Instagram like pictures of my TBR and having you guys poll on what book I should read, whether or not I should be doing reading vlogs. So if you wanna participate in that, please follow me. If you want to know any behind the scenes things, like any books that I'm reading and reviews that I'm giving for things I'm not doing reading vlogs for, then follow me on Instagram. Also follow me on Goodreads. Both of those links are going to be down in the description. And I want to say thank you so much for watching all of this video. I know it was long and for staying with me. Thank you so much. Have an amazing day and I will see you soon. Bye.